Welcome to a lesson on bit strings. Bit is short for binary digit, so a bit string is a string of binary digits. The binary digits are simply the numbers 0 and 1. Here are four examples of bit strings. The number of bits, meaning zeros or ones, in the string is its length. The strings above have lengths 4, 1, 4, and 10, respectively. We can also ask how many of the bits are ones. The number of ones in a bit string is the weight of the string. The weights of the above strings are 2, 0, 4, and 5, respectively. An n bit string is a bit string of length n. That is, it is a string containing n symbols, each of which is a bit, either 0 or 1. The weight of a bit string is the number of ones in it. bn is a set of all n bit strings. bnk is a set of all n bit strings of weight k. For two examples, b32 is the set of all three bit strings of weight 2, which is a set with bit strings 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, and 1, 1, 0. Notice all have a length of 3 and a weight of 2. b31 is the set with all of the three bit strings of weight 1, which is a set with the bit strings of 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. Notice how the cardinality of both of these sets is equal to 3. And now let's consider two counting questions. How many bit strings have length 5? And how many of those have weight 3? In other words, we're asking for the cardinality of B5 and the cardinality of B53. To find the number of 5 bit strings is straightforward. We have 5 bits and each can either be a 0 or a 1. So there are two choices for the first bit two choices for the second bit, two choices for the third bit, and so on. By the multiplicative principle, there are two times two times two times two times two, or two to the fifth, or 32 such strings. And this should be familiar to us. This is the same way we determined the number of subsets of a given set. So the cardinality of bn is equal to two to the power of n, which is a number of n bit strings. And now let's work on determining the number of 5-bit strings of a weight of 3, which is more challenging. Think about how such a string could start. The first bit must be either a 0 or a 1. In the first case, meaning when the string starts with a 0, we must then decide on 4 more bits. To have a total of 3 1s, though, among those 4 remaining bits, there must be 3 1s. To count all of these strings, we must include all 4-bit strings of weight 3. In the second case, when the 5-bit string starts with a 1, we still have 4 bits to choose from, but now only 2 of them can be 1s. So we should look at all the 4-bit strings of weight 2. So all of the strings in B53 have the form of 1B42. Again, that is 1 followed by a string from B42, or the form 0B43, which is a 0 followed by a string from B43. These two sets are disjoint, so we can use the additive principle and state the cardinality of B53 equals the cardinality of B42 plus the cardinality of B43. This is an example of a recurrence relation. We represented one instance of our counting problem in terms of two simpler instances of the problem. If we only knew the cardinality of B42 and B43, However, we can repeat the same reasoning. The cardinality of B42 is equal to the cardinality of B31 plus the cardinality of B32. Remember, the B42 represents the form of 1B42, and B31 represents the form of 11B32, and B32 represents the form of 10B32. Similarly, the cardinality of B43 is equal to the cardinality of B32 plus the cardinality of B33. And again, remember, B43 represents the form 0B43, and B32 represents the form of 01B32, and B33 represents the form of 00B33. We could keep going here, but this should be good enough. Remember, both B31 and B32 contain three bit strings, which we saw earlier in our first example, down here at the bottom of the first screen. 
and therefore we know the cardinality of B32 and the cardinality of B31 are both equal to three, which would be here, here, and here. And we should also be able to recognize that B33 would be the set with the string 111, and therefore the cardinality of B33 is equal to one. Well, notice how this gives us the cardinality of B42 is equal to six, the cardinality of B43 is equal to four, which puts B53 at a total of 10 strings. Remember, the cardinality of B53 is equal to the cardinality of B42 plus the cardinality of B43. But if we think about this for a minute, the values of 32 and 10 were the same answers we found in our accounting questions about subsets in the earlier lesson. This is not a coincidence at all. Each bit string can be thought of as a code for a subset. If we represent the subsets of the set A with elements one, two, three, four, and five, we can use five bit strings, one bit for each element of A. Each bit in the string is a zero if the corresponding element of A is not in the subset, and a one if the element of A is in the subset. Remember, deciding the subset amounted to a sequence of five yes or no votes for the elements of A. Instead of yes, we put a one. Instead of no, we put a zero. For example, the bit string 11001 represents the subset with elements one, two, and five because we would have the votes of yes, yes, no, no, yes for the five elements in set A, which again does give us a subset with one, two, and five. Similarly, the subset with three and five would be coded by the string 00101, which would be the votes of no, no, yes, no, yes, to create the subset with five and three. What we really have here is a bijection from the power set of A to B5. Now for a subset to contain exactly three elements, the corresponding bit string must contain exactly three ones. In other words, the weight must be three. Thus counting the number of three element subsets of A is the same as counting the number of five bit strings of weight three. And remember, the number of subsets of a set of size N, each with cardinality K, is equal to N choose K, which means now we also know the cardinality of B N K, which is the number of N bit strings of weight K, is also equal to N choose K. And let's verify this. We just determined the cardinality of B53 was 10, and let's check that to make sure we get the same result by determining five choose three. And notice five choose three is also 10. So from now on, we'll simply evaluate combinations to determine the cardinality of N bit strings of weight K. I hope you found this helpful.